right, guys. Again, the Lord, Moses, is reminding the children of Israel. He continues to teach and remind the children of Israel that they are about to embark and to relish in the blessings of the Lord. But when they do that, they must remember to adhere to the, the commandments, the statutes, the laws, and the rules that God has given to them all through these years. And they must not forget ever his Ten Commandments to do them, to be obedient to them. Ooh. He continues to speak to the children of Israel for their own good. Let's read on and see. Let's feed our spirits so we too can get in with the blessings that God has for his children. We are the children of Abraham, the scripture says. So we <laughs> will inherit if we are in obedience to God's word. So let's read and see what Moses was telling the children of Israel. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, the King James Version continues, and it says, All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do, that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. Mm. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only mm -mm. but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live mm -mm -mm. <laughs> thy raiment walks not old upon thee neither did thy foot swell these forty years? Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy God chasteneth thee. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains and depths that spring out of valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley and vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of oil, olive, and honey, mm. a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Mm. Thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayest dig brass. Mm, mm, mm. When thou hast eaten and art full, 
Then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given giveth thee. Given thee, excuse me. Beware thou though. Thou beware that thou excuse me, beware that thou forget not the Lord thy God in not keeping his commandments and his judgments and his statutes which I command thee this day. Lest when thou hast eaten and art full and hast built goodly houses and dwelt therein, and when thy herd and thy flocks multiply, and thy silver and thy gold is multiplied, and all that thou hast is multiplied, then thine heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage, who led thee through that great and terrible wilderness, wherein were fiery serpents and scorpions and drought, where there was no water, who brought thee forth water out of the rock of flint, who fed thee in the wilderness with manna, which thy fathers knew not, that he might humble thee, and that he might prove thee to do thee good at thy latter end. And thou say in thine heart, My power and the might of mine hand had gotten me this wilt. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day. Hmm. And it shall be, if thou do at all forget the Lord thy God, and walk after other gods, and serve them, and worship them, I testify against you this day, that ye shall surely perish as the nations which the Lord destroyeth before your face so shall ye perish because ye would not be obedient unto the voice of the Lord your God thus ends the reading of Deuteronomy Chapter 8. There's some serious stuff here. Some real serious stuff. Let's go in and meditate on this word prayerfully. Let's get in our closets. Shut the door, like Jesus said. Get down into prayer. Mm. Let's meditate on the word of God. And allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us. And then as we rise up from there, let's walk in obedience <laughs> to the Word of God. Let's walk in the righteousness of God. Let's be obedient. Let's stay obedient. Let's stay forgiven. Let's stay loving. Let's stay in peace. Let's seek peace and pursue it. The Word of God says that. Stay blessed, everybody. 
Join me again. I'm going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 9 next. Thank you for reading with me.